What's going on guys and welcome to episode 3 of the Aston Villa career mode. You know last episode the season started, we started off well, we're scoring goals, then it ended on a shitter. As you can see there, two games, three points. We won our first game, lost against Cardiff, but I'm happy the fact that we can score goals. But yeah, we have to not be conceding stupid goals. We have just under 7 million to spend and I do intend on spending everything. Everything. And looking at the squad, I do feel like we need another winger. Ross McCormack, although he did okay last episode, in real life he's just gone out on loan. So we're going to look to shift him. And here we go, first game of the episode comes up at the Medeski. It's Reading. And here we go, this is the lineup we're rocking with. Ben Chilwell makes his debut at left back. Abel Hernandez starts up front ahead of Kodja, who's slightly tired. We need him to start scoring. Or it was a bulls up of a transfer. Let's go. All right. All right. Come on then, boys. We have to we have to get back to winning ways. And we can't get out at the moment. We can't get out. Oh, it's heroic. Back to Kermel. Abel Hernandez. He's close control. He's a bit wanky. Keep it moving. Who's on the edge here? Connor Hurahan. Put your foot through it, Connor. Oh, oh, oh. come on, Snoddy. You've been a star man so far. Snoddy. Adoma. Albert. Bertie boy has scored. Big Bert. It's all Snoddy. He has the dribbling ability, the vision. But I'm, I'm surprised he's rolled that in there, Doma. His finishing hasn't been too good in the previous episode. So I'm happy that Albert is off the mark. 1-0. That's excellent from Delap. Referee! It's called body strength. Get his little ass in the gym if he doesn't like it. It's nice. Abel Hernandez. It's excellent. What the hell is that? I've double tapped B. I've tapped B. Twice for the for the driven across the goal shot. And what the fuck is that? Jesus Christ. Abel Hernandez. Abel Hernandez. Grealish, you're going to be in. Go on, Jack. Show Abel how you do it. Wallop. Oh, my God. It's just, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's happening. It should be 3-0. If I was the manager, I'd be having a stern word at half-time. What the hell are you doing? Hit the back of the net. Even though I'm controlling it, but I'm not taking responsibility. Clement Grenier, that is excellent, mate. That's not what we bought you for. But I'll take what I can get at the moment. Hernandez, that's excellent. Grealish, that's excellent. Snoddy, that's excellent. The big snod. Feed the snod. And he will score. Premier League talent, big snoddy. I've been saying, you know, Snodgrass, he ain't the fastest for a winger. But technically, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. It's 2-0. Adoma. Go on, Adoma. Abel Hernandez, back to Adoma. Wallop it. Oh, it's good defending. Oh, Chilwell's been, he's been, he's been mugged off there. Don't give away a penalty. What am I doing? What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? It's just cheap, isn't it? It's cheap. Oh, come on, ref. Oh, come on, Jan Kermagant. Come on, Bun. Come on, Bunny. Come on, Bugs Bunny. He's going right. He's going right. Bugs Bunny. Went the right way, but that's a great penalty. Snodgrass. Jack Grealish. Oh my god, Jack, what's happened to your finishing? No. Oh my god. They're coming on strong. That's it. Head that dome up. Oh my god. Bakuna as well, trying to score against us. Snoddy. Abel! He's off the mark. Abel Hernandez is off the mark. Snodgrass with his second assist of the game. He rolls it in there. Abel Hernandez, wallop. Great finish. 3-1. Clemor Grenier cutting shit up like some type of chef in the kitchen. It's great football. Jack Grealish, can you finish this time? Jackie boy, yes you can. 4-1. Game over. Three points. Get in. The finishing has been more clinical in the second half. First half, we should have been out of sight. We are we, we are out of sight now. Three points. Clement Grenier, how many tackles do you want to make, son? Abel Hernandez, you're in again. Abel, he's, he, he, now he's on form now. He's on form now. Forget the first half. This is what I like. With this team, I know that we can score goals. We can create, we can score. It's the defensive side of stuff. Don't make stupid mistakes and we should be all right. 5-1. Oh, and there you go. Full time. In the end, it's a really good performance. I mean, look, we've edged the stats in every single aspect. Robert Snodgrass, man of the match. Feed the snod and he will score. 
or he'll produce an assist at least. Okay, and here we go. Second game of the episode comes up. It's at home. It's against Norwich. And here we go. This is the starting 11. Pretty much full strength. James Chester making a couple mistakes last game. So I've took him out. Michael Richards comes in. Kodja comes up top for Abel Hernandez. Neil Taylor at the back for Chilwell, who did well last game, to be fair. Chilwell on his debut. But yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. Can we continue the early momentum from this episode? Five goals. Come on. And that was away. We're at home now. Let's do the business. Oh, Jack Grealish already. I like it. That's a penalty. See, where's my penalty? Why don't I get penalties? It's beautiful. Jonathan Kodja. 1-0. Kodji boy. Kodji boy. It feels like Kodja is the better finisher out of Kodja and Hernandez. Hernandez might hold it a little bit better, but Kodja... There's no argument when it comes to goals. You're joking me. You're joking me. Oh, he's missed. I thought he went in. Oh, God. Matt Jarvis has got past the lap. Micah Richards. Kodja, you're going to be in. Oh, Grealish, you have to find that ball, mate. Go on, Kodji. Go on, Kodji. Go on, Kodji. Goal scorer. John Kodja. I'm just going to call him JK. Goal scorer. 2-0. For fuck's sake, we've let in a goal. Dead on half time. And it's just so tame. We don't win the second ball. And it's just near post. I mean, bun. Sort yourself out. Look at that. It's dead on half time. It's an annoying, annoying time. To let in a goal. Especially when I think that's the first chance they've really had. Go on, Kodji. Keep going. Go on, Kodji. You're on a hat-trick, son. John Kodji. Oh, get on the end of it. Oh. Oh, the lap, man. If they score from this, I'm going to be fuming. Is he going to play it short? He's going to play it sideways. No, he's not. He's whipped it. Oh, God. I mean, it's a great free kick. It's a great free kick. It's over the wall. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Come on in, boys. Kodja, hold it. Jack Grealish. Go on, Grealish. Come on. Come on. We will not lose. We can't throw this game away. 2-0 up, dominating the game. They get two goals from nowhere. We cannot throw this away. 3-2. He's the snod. Go on, snod. Feed the snod. And he will score. Feed the snod. Feed the snod. That should be it. 4-2. 10 minutes to go. Snoddy. Clinical. Go on, Kodji. Oh, you're a hat trick. There's the hat trick. Kodja. Another five goals. He's turned a couple of times. Defender. Edless chicken. Oh, we want more. We want more, don't we, boy? Snoddy. Go on, son. Go on, Snoddy. Have you got the legs, Snoddy? Penalty ref. <laughs> Come on, Kodja. Can you get four? It's casual, isn't it? It's just casual. And there you go. It's, it's another great attacking display. Excellent. Jonathan Kodja, 10 out of 10. Here is a player I'm interested in buying. I did say we need a winger. And someone who can play on both sides is Jack Harrison. Recently called up for the England under-21 squad. There's been a lot of rave reviews going on about him. He was the number one overall pick in the MLS last year, so uh, let's see what we can do. He does have a 7.2 million release clause, which we can't afford at the moment, but I'm thinking if we can swap Ross McCormack for him, that could be doable. Ross McCormack is worth, they're almost worth the same as well, so it's, it's, it would be quite a fair trade, because in the MLS, I mean, Ross McCormack would have a tear up, so let's see if they just, if that's good. Let's have a look. They're looking to bring in a right winger, so they want a direct replacement. Okay, so they only want 3.5 million, which is doable for us. It really is doable. But let, let's try to get down to 3 million. And then if we can get a 3 million, we're laughing. Now, the minimum is 3.4. So we're just going to go ahead and accept it. 3.4, we can afford that. He's going to be in rotation because he's still young. But is he going to accept that? Great. He's willing to accept coming off the bench. So that is nice. He ain't going to be whinging. Five-year deal. He was only on about just under 5K. So if we offer him around the same, 
Let's go to six. Six K. Signing on. I'm not really that bothered about. Let's see what they come back with that. Okay, he wants 5.3k a week, but he does want a signing on bonus. And um, after 15 appearances, he wants another 86k straight up. Which going to accept it. I'm happy with that. Jack Harrison, welcome to Aston Villa. Look at the smile on his face. And here he is, Jack Harrison. The sprint speed isn't bad. The acceleration I really like. The stamina I really like. Technically, his dribbling is decent. His finishing needs to get better. So does ball control, but he's only 20 years old. We're going to put him in training. Him and Andre Green, we now have two young wingers on each side that can make an impact on the game. And here we go. Third and final game of the episode comes up against Leeds in the Carabao Cup. Time for Jack Harrison to make his debut. And here we go. This is the 11 we're rocking with. We have such squad depth now that we can afford to rotate the full 11. Harrison plays on the right. Onoma makes his first appearance of the season by an Abel Hernandez. Let's go. Right, here we go. Obviously, there's no real importance on this cup. The board wasn't too bothered about it. But still, I want to do well with this because I want the, the fringe players, the rotation players, to get their games. And this is, this is it. Let's do this. Look, Andre Green already is gone. And he's rapid. He'll get that ball. He's rapid. Go on, Dre. Go on, Dre. He's in. Oh, he's not bad. He gets into really good positions. But his finishing just isn't there yet. As soon as he gets that finishing, he's going to be better than Adoma. Look how many players they've got behind the ball. Good God. Harrison, on your left. Oh, Harrison. Woo. Oh, dear. They're in behind. How has that gone in? If anyone can tell me how the hell that has resulted in a goal, comment. Comment in the comment section because I don't know what the fuck just happened there. I want to watch this again. Samba's got a tackle in. It's gone straight through the goalkeeper's leg. Samba's gone arse over tit, as they say. What the hell is that? I don't know what's happened here, but we still got the ball. Glenn Whelan. Andre Green. It's a great turn, Dre Green. His first goal of the season. His first of many, hopefully. It's a turn and wallop. 1-1. One, one. Stroking the ball around with purpose. Josh Onoma. Oh, keep it down, you Tottenham fool. They give us the ball. Harrison, you're in, Jack. What? Oh, it's a heavy touch. That touch is so heavy. Give it back to him. It's excellent. It's it. Oh, why did I just bang it? Should have banged it. Should have banged it. Sure, well, it's nice. We've spread them wide. It's a great ball. Onoma. Oh, he's got his nut on it, but it's just wide. Oh, God. You're joking me, you sweaty shithead of a legendary CPU. It's the first shot they've had. I'm sick of this. Just letting in shit goals. Shit, shit goals. On half time as well. Again. Oh, my God. There's a chance for a counter here. Andre Green. Go on, Greeny boy. Go on, Green. Oh, he's finishing. He's wanky. He's finishing. Oh, no. Tackle. Why is Abel Hernandez just standing like a fucking statue? Move, mate. Overlap. Waiting for the overlap. Abel Hernandez, where are you? Ben Chilwell, find him. That is a great ball. And Abel Hernandez just isn't moving there. Harrison's outside you. Go on, Harrison. He's all left foot. I've got to get back on his left. Whip action. What a ball. Dre Green! Oh, no. Harrison, what a ball. Oh, and Abel Hernandez is injured. Go on, Hogan. Go on, Hogan. Oh, my God. We have something we're just losing the last game of the episode, clearly. Leeds are currently sitting top of the championship in this game. But still, look at the stats. Look at that first goal they scored. It's just they've had two shots and we've lost. And not only that... But Abel Hernandez is out for three months. What the hell are we going to do? Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of the Aston Villa career mode. I'm gutted to end an episode again on a loss. I'm, I'm not happy. We score goals. It's just the defense is it's leaky. And it's my own fault, I suppose. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to keep up to date with the series. Comment what you think. Should I try to move some players on? What areas should I look to strengthen? And hopefully I will see you on the next one. Peace.